Um, yeah, definitely uh, overall disappointment. Um, you want to take three points. You want to win your games at home, take care of business at home. doesn't matter if it's in conference, out of conference. Um, Columbus has a lot of good of atta- a lot of good attacking pieces. Makes it makes it difficult to defend when they play the way they do and kind of leaving attackers high and um, opens the game up a lot. Uh, it's certainly not how we want the game to go. Um, we could have done a better job controlling that, keeping our lines tighter, taking better care of the ball all night, um, finishing attacks with you know plays that that end the chance for a transition opportunity. Um, but you know, other than that, it, it's. It starts with conceding early again. Can't happen at home. Um, we fight back and, and, and do well to, to get an even score line and, and push from there. But, um, you know, it's not enough in the end. Yeah, I think um, I think our lack of quality with the ball lends itself to to not being able to set our set ourselves and and set our press and and be organized defensively. I think I think we have a really good defensive approach and defensive organization when everybody's set and and we can go together. And when those turnovers happen in bad spots, unexpectedly in in the wrong places, everybody's kind of you know no one's expecting it and we're out of position and everybody's scrambling trying to cover for each other. And I think. That happened far too often tonight. Um, I do think we got better defensively and handled things better as the game went on, but um, I think the turnovers uh, is the main thing to look at there. So kind of following up on that point, is this, I think, the third game in a row at least that it was, you're going to go concede early. But it seems like every time you're able to lock it down at least play defense well enough for the attacking half to be able to get a lead and go from there. So do you kind of take solace still? Yeah, it's. I, I agree with you. I think you know we do well to respond in the right way and and defend well from there on for most of the game afterwards. Um, I just think it's. Uh, man, I don't know. I, I feel like we've been preaching concentration and 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 focus and details and and um, and all of these buzzwords for a long time now, and and yet again, you know, it's just a, one moment early in the game, first ten minutes, and. Um, I don't know. I, I think tonight it started with a corner, but it's a broken play. Maybe two or three plays after the corner happens, and um, just yeah, you switch off for a second, and, and and quality attacking players can make you pay. So it's it's frustrating. It's um, you know that's that's the play that that gets them a tie, and uh, yeah, it's it's hard to kind of I don't know. It's it, it comes down to that moment, you know, us being together and us defending well and, and taking care of business, but. Um, in terms of a rhyme or reason why it happens early, uh, it's hard to say. Um, you know, maybe we can start the, the matches a little more um, conservatively, but you know, certainly at home, we, we want to think. Uh, you know, we're aggressive. We want to get all over them. We want to step to them. And um, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, that's a it's all over the place for that answer, but. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It, it sometimes it comes down to personnel uh, in terms of the way we like to attack, uh, uh, the the way teams press. If they show show one high, two high, three high, um, it kind of depends the way we want to build. Um, you know, recently I've kind of been shallowing off and, and helping the center backs kind of you know make a three and, and have a six behind them and behind that first line and kind of build in a number advantage way. Um, I feel like as games wear on here, teams get tired, they pull guys back, they only show one high and we can build with less and it, and it allows us to get a little bit higher. But with the way they're leaving attackers high all night, it was th- those moments for, for us and, and for me as an outside back to attack have to be so calculated because 
they don't track me and it's great going forward but at the same time if there's you know turnover and then some of these times where we're not taking care of the ball it's it's you know a big advantage for them so um and we've got you know such good wingers sometimes they don't need a, a 2v1 with a, with a fullback coming behind them they're, they're just as good 1v1 but um yeah sorry again i feel like i'm just throwing stuff every every direction keegan simple one uh felipe his first start tonight you know he's been with the team what a week maybe a couple days what have you seen so far from him just generally in the club what'd you make of his start tonight um felipe is awesome i uh, i got a chance to speak with him second day he was here um great character guy um he's happy to be here he's happy for, happy for the opportunity um, you can tell he's comfortable on the ball. He, he wants the ball. He comes and finds it. Um, if you don't play him, he's he's telling you about it afterwards, and not in a bad way, obviously, but um, he's a guy that wants to, you know, um, dictate the tempo of the game and, and find the game. Um, and uh, I think that type of player is always welcome in a team. Um, and his English is, is, is really good, so that's, that's always helpful for guys like me. Um, I have not. Uh, you know, it didn't look great. Obviously, he had to come off, and um, you know, I wish him the best. But uh, you know, he's he's been doing well with his minutes recently. He's been getting a chance recently. He's been good at trading, and um, again, not not sure uh, what exactly came of it. But um, you know, hoping for the best. Um, when it comes down to the final minutes of the game, Um, yeah, it it kind of goes back to what I said about conceding early the, these past couple of games at home. It's it's just laser focus, like you know, uh, every single detail, um, head on a swivel at all times, talking more than you feel like you need to, trying to to do your job and a little bit of somebody else's is what we talk about all the time. And um, you know, obviously tonight with the Aya coming off, um, it was a little maybe more frantic or conservative than, than we would have liked to finish out the game and, and maybe push a little bit more for a goal. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, you know, last-ditch defending is kind of what they refer to it as. And, um, you know, you put your body on the line, you, you're, you're blocking shots, crosses, and um, I don't know. I, you know, I think looking back on it, I, I wish we took that approach in the last five minutes to the first five. And, and But in terms of a mindset, you just – you also don't want to start a game in, in a f not a frantic, but a you know let's concert let's let's preserve the point type of approach to starting a game at home and, and, and being aggressive and, and being all over a team. So um, yeah, it's just uh, at that point it's, it's seeing the game out and just um, and kind of thinking you know don't concede first and, and go from there.